All right, we're at the third location at Javi's Taqueria. Yeah, or yeah tacos. I gotta say right away, just by looking, it looks amazing. It looks really good. Present yeah. Presentation is probably one of the best out here. Yeah, the colors look great. That we tried. Yeah, the colors look great. We have the red salsita, pretty bright, and a nice green one. Yeah. And we, so they, he said that tripas is their thing, but they're, they don't have it right now. So oh, that's how much it is their thing. You know, they're sold out. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, he gave us al pastor and chorizo, but he said, obviously, like everybody says, they're all good. Yeah. And, good he, and he, well, he said al pastor, chorizo, asada, so. pollo, everything. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, oh, we always get asada and al pastor, right? Yeah. It was like... But he said their al pastor, you know, is really sweet because they put, I do see up like is that pineapple chunks in there. Um, or is that just fat? It might have been that they mix it in there with the mm, sauce. That's what yeah. I'm guessing. But you said yeah, it's really different. So yeah. It's supposed to be on the sweeter side. Mm -hmm. So 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 we still got yeah, it. It'd be interesting. Yeah. And I like that they added the cucumbers because that's something you don't see too often. But I like when they add that because it's a nice little refreshing little snack. Mm. They got the radishes pickled. Uh, jalapenos, pickled carrots, uh, really nice grilled onions right there. Yeah, they're a little bit more caramelized uh -huh. than usual. And it also came with this quag style sauce. So, what? I thought someone was knocking on the no, window it's or that, something. It's that thing on your car. It's the air freshener. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put all the salsas. And there's already salsa on the tacos too. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you want to do chorizo or? Oh, you know what? We don't quag. have a lime. What? Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> Negative points. <laughs> no lime, yep. It's minus uh, half a point at least right there. So, Mike had to go and uh, ask for some limes because he forgot the limes. But, like I always tell you guys, make sure you ask for the sauce and limes because... I did ask, that's the thing. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did ask. <laughs> uh, Remember, that's why you, I started asking, oh, what salsa do you guys want? Uh, uh, so but that's okay. Sometimes people yep. get nervous. They're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> gonna get reviewed. Oh, wow. All right. So but like, they are limes. They're not lemons. Oh, I know. So maybe it's not a seasonal thing. Uh, it's been a minute since I've mm. seen a lime. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And it gives quite a few too. Yep. What do you want to try first? Let's do chorizo. I don't do too many chorizo ones. Yes, I'm loves putting that chorizo in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? First impressions? Oh yeah, it's yellow corn tortillas. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to say that. Pretty good. Good flavor. Good salsa. Yeah, this is a four. Maybe close to a five. I don't know. But this is probably the most finely chopped chorizo mm -hmm. I've had. Mm -hmm. Then put some salsa on it. That's nice. Honestly, I want to give it a five. I don't know. What do you think? That's your opinion, man. What do you think, though? Man, let me put some salsa on it oh. first. You know me, I'm blasphemous. <laughs> no additional salsa on the first bite. Uh, so the cebollita, I'm not too happy with because it's not hot and I don't know. The flavor is not that great. I mean, we're here to review the tacos. Still, we gotta talk about it. Cucumber. Mm. Cucumber close. nice and fresh. I mean, that's a 4.5. Yeah, close, right? I mean, the only thing that holds it back is the tortillas. Really? Honestly, I feel like they could be better. Wow, I think they're really good. I think the tortillas can be better. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe if they're uh, handmade yellow corn, huh? That yeah. would be a freaking another level yeah that's, that's, right. sure. that's the only thing keeping it from being a five yeah all right but the flavor is really good the quality is really good on a pastor time <laughs> you taste that sweetness he's talking about wow that's pretty unique check it out uh sweetness I taste it a little bit. Well, that's a pretty unique taco. The flavor profile on that. All right? Mmm. Right? Yeah. It's really, really interesting. Honestly, on that first bite for me, it's almost like lacking it. a little, <laughs> slacking a little bit of flavor, the mm. first bite. 
mosi with a little bit of salsa, what that does for it. It's definitely high quality. I think it's really good. Definitely a 4.5 for that one too. Wow, how come you're not giving it a 5? What's keeping it from being a 5 for you? I think if, if it had that handmade tortilla element, that would bring it up even more. The quality, the ingredients are really high quality. It tastes fresh. For me, it's a solid four. Mm -hmm. Just want a little bit more flavor. And you already heard what I said about the tortillas because mm. it was the same tortilla. <clears throat> I definitely give it a four and a half at least. Yeah, but four and a four and a half, not bad, oh, folks. Yeah. This is the one I was looking for. <laughs> the yep. four. Javi's mm. tacos. You guys know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. The Filipino approves, so that should make you feel better. <laughs> yeah. and they also have this uh, California burrito that has fries in it. So uh, that's a nice something different. Basically, they're they're a lot more different than most of the tacos that we see. But even like with their branding, right? You can mm -hmm. tell they they really put in the effort there. You know, they put some thought into it. Mm -hmm. And you know, they are definitely on the young side. The people we talk to, so maybe that has a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So since these tacos weren't that big, we're gonna eat some dessert and eat some seafood right now. Verdict time. Verdict time. Ding ding. Ba, 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 ba. All right, favorite place. They're all pretty much similar. Yeah, they're all as, trucks. So. Yeah. It all has to do with what vibe you want. Do you want the vibe where there's a, a freeway next to you or do you want the vibe where it's out in the cuts? Honestly, I'd probably go with the first place. I like the first place, it's, it's mellow, it's chill. And you, you have, we, we don't know how many are there, but I think there's about four taco trucks. So you have your variety there and you have plenty of space to park and plenty of space to sit down. So it's a cool, cool spot. Um, favorite taco? Apastor. Out here wins. I think definitely a unique flavor that, uh, believe it or not guys, but every time we eat a new taco, there's always a certain distinct flavor that each place has. Yeah, you would think with the, you know, the ingredients are pretty mm -hmm. basic, right? But mm -hmm. everyone does it differently. Yep, it all comes down to your, your quality of meats, the preparation, even the oil you're using. It all blends in oh, differently. Oh yeah, a little quick side story. <laughs> At the second spot when I was throwing our plates away, <laughs> the guy asked me what I thought of their tacos <laughs> on the spots. So I had to tell the truth. <laughs> you broke I his told heart, them, bro. Yeah, I said they, they're okay, but they're just, you know, too oily and he was quiet for like two or three seconds he's like mm -hmm. oh okay mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry i know i probably ruined your day but i can't lie <laughs> he's an honest man ladies you guys should you should take note of that he's an honest man well it's better to be honest right than for me to say they're really good than he watches the video and he sees <laughs> yeah. us talking about I, how oily I, the top is up yeah. yeah yeah so we're, we're, be, we're trying to okay, be as honest yeah. as we can I'm, I'm a heartbreaker we're trying to be as honest as we can without breaking too many hearts you know what <laughs> i mean so but hey like we said before take this uh in a constructive way maybe you want to take it in a way that you want to be better at it maybe not who cares yeah. it's up to you how yeah, you want to take I mean, it you guys definitely criticize us on these videos so we try to make them yeah, better because apparently we don't know what we're talking about because <laughs> we haven't eaten many ta as many tacos before so <laughs> who knows anyways okay so my, my favorite spot i agree with sam it is the first spot for all the reasons he pointed out and plus it's you know it's a quieter neighborhood too mm. you know he, you know the other two spots there's a lot of uh car traffic mm. coming around and I'd, I'd for me personally if i had a choice between a quiet neighborhood and a place where there's a lot of cars passing by mm. i'll take the quiet neighborhood yeah Favorite taco for me would be the chorizo here from mm. Hagis. Yeah, that's definitely a four point five for me. Mm -hmm. It's just so it's so finely chopped. Yeah, it re you really feel the high quality like ingredients and the high quality. It, mel it melts in your mouth <laughs> because of it. You know, when something <laughs> that is that finely chopped, uh, it shows you like an attention to detail uh, too and how much effort they're putting. But that's in. time you're putting into. Yeah, you know, yeah. Doing it. That's, so that's cool. that's something my favorite taco of the day. Yeah, dope. Well. Turlock, we're definitely going to be back here soon. Yeah, it's basically San Jose Jr. over here. Uh -huh. you know?